Today, everyone and their aunt admires actress Jennifer Lawrence for some of the most entertaining and creative roles in the film industry. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. But when we look back at the time before she became a household name among Hollywood elites, the actress is mostly seen doing independent and small-scale films. Her rise to stardom came when she became the lead actress in the popular The Hunger Games franchise, where her popularity increased alongside the series. But with such an amazing reputation and box office success, series director Francis Lawrence seems to regret splitting the final film into two parts. While her career in independent and small-scale films has been commendable, Jennifer Lawrence's first big commercial and critical role came in the form of The Hunger Games. Best known for playing the lead character Katniss Everdeen in the series, the star has seen her meteoric rise to the top of Hollywood. Although the series is loved and revered by many to this day, there is only one complaint fans have with the series, and one that director Francis Lawrence seems to regret. In a recent interview with People, the Red Sparrow director talked about returning to the franchise for the upcoming Prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Here he also talked about the fans' reaction, when he decided to split the final film in the series, The Hunger Games, Mockingj, into two separate parts. He said that if he could bring it back, he would definitely keep the final part as one movie because he felt cheated into making fans wait a whole year for the end of the story when the original novel was just one book. I completely regret it, he said. I totally do that. I'm not sure everyone does that, but I definitely do. And what I realized in retrospect, and after hearing all the feedback and feeling kind of angry from fans and critics and people in the split, is that I realized it was frustrating, and I can understand that. In an episode of television, if you have an interesting episode, you wait a week or you can binge it, and then you can watch the next episode. But making people wait a year, I think, seemed disingenuous, even though it wasn't. Our intentions were not disingenuous. Many fans complained that this decision was a simple money grab to split the series into four different films, when it should have been a trilogy. The original series was well received, and remains a fan favorite to this day but there is still a rich history of the Hunger Games that audiences don't know about. So, the series brings us the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes to tell the original story of what we know and love. We travel back in time, when the tyrannical ruler of Paynum, Coriolanus Snow, was an 18-year-old young man, and the last of his line. He is set to guide Lu-